Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this vintage inspired hairdo. My inspiration photo is just underneath in the box below. That's a very chic and sleek 20s bob with a braided headband. I've adapted the style to incorporate your own hair as a half crown braid. Finishing in a neat flat bun. Um, and I think it gives it a little more of an Edwardian-esque, yet still modern feel. It's kind of a fusion hairdo. I'm super pleased with it. I love it. I hope you like it as much as I do. And if you do, please click the like button. Oh, I love seeing those likes. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, then click here. I'd also love that. Um, if you're interested in more vintage hairstyles, you can click here for my vintage hairstyle playlist and visit my channel for other normal hairdos if you want to see those. Um, yeah, and thanks. Enjoy. Let's get started. Centre part your hair and then make another parting from one temple to the other. Secure the bottom half of your hair away in an elastic band. Using the top of your head as the centre, brush your hair evenly around your head. Start your braid at the back centre of your head and work towards your forehead. Guide the braid as you go so that it continues from your temples straight around, as if it were almost a crown sitting on your ears. Take the left hand strand, which we will call the bottom, and pass it under the middle. Take the right hand strand, which we will call the top, and pass that under the middle. Now continue this, but each time you add a section of the hair from the top or the bottom, you incorporate a section of the loose hair that you've previously brushed around your head. You're creating a Dutch braid around your head. It can be a little bit tricky though. To keep the braid looking neat, you need to make sure you share the loose hair evenly between the top and the bottom strands. To do this, section the loose hair and divide it into two horizontally. The top half you add to the top strand and the bottom half you add to the bottom strand. Use a brush to spread out the hair if you need to. And um, you can see here, I take just the top layer and add it to the top strand to pass under and then I grab the bottom layer and pass that under. So top layer of the loose hair. And from the same part of my head, I take the bottom layer and use that for the bottom strand. You just continue around your head in this fashion. It might take a couple of practices to get it looking neat, but I promise you'll get it. Continue until you have no more hair to braid into, to plait into your braid. <laughs> and then just plait down the lengths. Now you're going to volumise your plait to make it look as big and voluminous as your Dutch braid by just pulling on the edges and you can also pull around your face and just to spread the plait out and make it look as big and poofy as possible. Being mindful to keep the same line, wrap your plait around your head, pinning if you feel you need to for security, and then just where the plait meets itself, pin it in and hide it. Now you can just release your lengths and have this as your final style. It's quite boho, quite relaxed and nice. Put a flower in or not, it looks good. Or you can add this bun. So take your hair into a ponytail to one side or another. I like to put the bun over the area where my plait gets a little bit thin towards the end and I'm just going to braid down the lengths of my hair again volumising this braid to make it fit in with the rest of the style. Once I've done this I'm going to wrap my hair into a bun. Um, I'm just going to do one loop but do what your hair will allow you to. If you've got shorter hair or longer hair you're going to have to do what just what you can with it. Make it a nice flat bun on the back of your head, pin it, you can add a flower and then the hairstyle is complete. I really hope you like it, thanks ever so much for watching. This is my previous video, a psych knot, and my next video is a lovely Edwardian style. Thanks so much for watching guys, see you soon.